got to be a certain breed to survive out here. Tag along with me and keep up. Charles Wright was born on the 2nd of September, sometime in the late 1970s, in Rampart, Alaska, USA. He is an American TV personality, fisherman, trapper, and environmental activist, known for appearing in the reality series Yukon Men on the Discovery Channel. Known as Charlie, there's not much information about his childhood, early education, or family, except that he grew up in a small town near the Yukon River before moving to Tanana in his 20s. A simple reminder how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving either an iPhone Max, iPad Mini, or MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. In his early career, Charlie was granted a water and sewer certification by the Alaska Department of Environmental Conservation, DEC, and became an expert on water and wastewater treatment, distribution, and collection. He worked as an operator of a water plant for over 22 years. However, living in Tanana for over two decades, Charlie has also been providing for his family through hunting. His extensive knowledge of the traditional activities was passed on to him by his ancestors, and nowadays, Charlie helps his small town neighbors to solve problems regarding control and hunting of local animals and fur harvesting. Additionally, Charlie is a commissioner of Tanana Hunting and Fishing Task Force, which is an organization protective of Alaska Natives' hunting and fishing traditions. As explained on its website, these practices provide for the social, cultural, spiritual, and economic well-being and survival of our people and communities. On the 13th of November, 2019, Charlie published a post on his official Facebook fan page on which he explained his mission as part of the organization, writing, We fight for Alaska Natives' rights to hunt, trap, and fish traditionally, but most importantly, we try and preserve our ways of culture and substance use, with no harm to the delicate ecosystem. And by saving our wild stocks from the state of Alaska's policies that cause overhunting, we want to preserve future generations' rights to continue their cultural history. Salmon fishing has been a tradition in the Yukon River area probably for thousands of years, and Charlie, skilled fisherman that he is with decades of experience, is an advocate for protection of the salmon habitat. I live off of salmon all summer and most of the winter. Our family commercially fished, and I did that most of my youth until closed in that area. I now subsistence fish and raise my family on it. I want to make sure salmon is available for my community and in the future. Wright has worked alongside various fishing organizations, and he's on the Yukon River Drainage Fisheries Association's directive board, whose members are elected democratically to take decisions on salmon fishery and its various practices. In addition, Charlie has helped the Yukon River Intertribal Fish Commission in their mission to preserve tribes' fishing traditions and customs. Charlie was in the main cast of the TV series Yukon Men, premiered in 2012, this reality documentary focused on the life of various trappers and hunters living near the Yukon River in Tanana, Alaska. Regarding his participation in the show, Charlie says that it was a good opportunity for viewers who had not experienced life in Alaska to learn its people's lifestyle. I thought it was real exciting to let people know how we live out here in the bush, and to let people know how hard it can be to actually live out here, with the prices we have to pay for fuel and gas and food and how hard it is to make a living off the land. The series received good reviews from viewers and experts. However, it had also been accused of misusing the term Yukon, mistaking the cast of the show with Canadians' population of Yukon territory, thus leaving their identity. Regarding this problem, Canadian members of Legislative Assembly complained to Discovery Channel, stating, Yukon Men was an unfortunate representation of Yukon's fishing and hunting traditions saying that they are vastly different from the ones observed in the show. The network's president, Paul Lewis, took into consideration the allegations and issued this disclaimer. Life in remote Alaska is a deadly struggle. Men hunt and trap to survive. Viewer discretion is advised. Yukon Men has also been criticized for showing allegedly scripted scenes. Although this issue has been denied by the cast, they made clear some events shown in the series are dramatized to motivate viewers to keep watching as well as some being concentrated. Although life in Tanana is not as dramatic as Yukon Men makes it seem, Charlie's fellow cast member, Stan Zeray, declared that all things seen on the screen are genuine, 
saying, all the animals are real, all the hunting is real, all the fishing is real. Everything you see has been done. Sometimes it just gets edited to make it understandable. Despite good reception and ratings and complaints from fans, Yukon Men stopped airing in 2017. Charlie Wright is married to Cheryl Roberts of Alaskan Native American descent. Exactly when the couple met and they married is unknown, but it's speculated that they grew up together. The couple has three daughters named Samantha, Tanisha, Geneva, and an only son, Robert, who appears beside his father in Yukon Men as he's taught the how-tos of surviving Alaska and its intense weather conditions. Charlie has an older son named Stephen Wright, though information about him and his mother is unknown. Charlie Wright's brother-in-law, George Roberts, went missing in 2012. The unfortunate event was featured in the episode On Thin Ice of Yukon Men, which focused on Roberts' family and friends' search efforts. Sadly, George was found dead in the Yukon River on the 28th of April that year. His death, the result of a snow machine accident when he was returning from a hunting expedition. Charged with informing his in-laws of Robert's death, Charlie commented on his passing with sadness. George is gone. It's like my own brother. We grew up together. We lived together. Everybody is close here. It's like one family. Charlie Wright's net worth is estimated at $450,000 as of mid-2020, which is a result of his appearance in Yukon Men and his earnings for his work as fisherman, trapper, and water plant operator. Charlie has black eyes and hair, and is a strongly built man of white ethnicity, though his weight and height are unknown. Finally, Charlie once declared he couldn't stay alive in his own without a gun, stating that it was vital for his survival in Alaska's wilderness. He affirmed on Yukon Men that wolves were ruthless animals that put people's lives in danger. However, following investigations of The Guardian's reporter Adam Welts, the number of mortal attacks inflicted by wolves is incredibly low, writing, Even though the U.S. and Canada hold over 60,000 wolves, I found only two records of fatal attacks by wild wolves in these countries in the last 10 years. Clearly, Charlie has avoided this fate. Following Charlie in the boat and ran into a sandbar. This is rough country even for camera guys. <laughs> Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.